continuing on with the fuselage, what we're going to do next is uh, put the battery cover on. Before I get that part there, a couple of things I've done with the fuselage is I've put a piece of mesh tape. This is uh, drywall mesh tape. You get the Home Depot. This is yellow. You can get it more of a natural color. And I've put that on there with CA and Kicker. And just uh, CA the certain parts so kind of tight and just coat it with a layer of CA. Uh, the other thing I've done, I've got the camera fitted in there, is I've taken um, uh, E6000 glue. And I've rubbed it all inside where the camera goes. And that'll kind of just harden that area there. It can make it where the camera will pop in and out and will damage the foam. Next, on this battery cover here, what I've done is I've inserted the battery. That way it'll kind of spread things apart where it should be. Putting tape around here just so I can mark things. You don't necessarily have to do this. You could always just draw it on the foam if you wanted to. There's a piece of uh, coroplast in there, which is, I don't know, it might be various lengths, but it's the same width. Uh, I've cut the, uh, uh, which is, the width is, it's light at one and, uh, what's it about? Mm, nine sixteenths? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, it's for the battery cover, and the other piece is going to be for a receiver cover, which I usually put the receiver on the bottom and put another cover for it. Speed controller goes right in here. So I've, I've laid tape around the battery box. I've marked out a center line. I've measured out a half inch forward of the battery bay here. I've cut this battery bay out to eight inches long. And what we're going to do is we're going to like we're going to cut the uh, kind of a route out a cavity for it. Uh, and I'm going to use a knife. Uh, you could use a Dremel tool if you want to do that. But I've put a I've drawn a center line on this. And so what I'm going to do in the half inch, I'm going to line the half inch part up here at the front and the rear, and I'm just going to just tape it in place. Now that we've got that, now we're going to need a sharp knife. I just have to have a scrap piece of foam around. You can tell if your blade is sharp. It cuts through it real easy. And then we're just going to score around it. Okay. Now, we've got our score all the way around it, get a line there. I'm going to set the blade depth to, we're going to have to kind of guesstimate on this because one click is not enough, two clicks is too much. So, yeah, we'll do that. And we'll set and draw it and we'll just go back in and carefully. Now next, I'm just going to try to make some marks. This is core plastic is four millimeters thick. Just need some guidelines to get us kind of close.
now pick it up here using a straight, a straight blade out of the, uh, uh, the knife we're just going to kind of eyeball it and sort of along the lines there and then carefully and get it in there There we go. Carefully score around it. And so it'll fit down in, inside there. This is now here. Now we gotta get the whole thing out there. And we just need to uh, finish cutting all the way around and cutting that out. There we go. Now with the cavity routed out, battery fits in there. This piece. It's going to fit up here, or this we're going to glue the front part of it in. Remove a little bit of material just on the bottom there so it will flex. And then we'll secure the back probably just a couple of magnets that will hold it down in place once we flex it. Now that you've got the fuse lodge at this point, unless you just want to go ahead and make cutouts for the ESE if you got them and the receiver, which I'm going to do later. Uh, the fuse lodge now is ready to, uh, to paint if you want to paint it. So we're going to paint this one and we're going to paint the cover. And then uh, the next step after that is probably going to be gluing the wing in.